Hey guys, it's me, EOD here, and in this video, I'm going to be teaching you all you need to know about hiding games in Steam, whether you're trying to buy maybe a less desirable game that you don't want people to know about, I'm going to be teaching you everything you need. Now, hiding a game starts off, and it's not the only thing, by coming into your library under home over here. Once you come into library and home, you can see the games that you have. In order to hide a game, which is not foolproof yet, but it's the first step, you can right click on the game that you have and click hide this game. Immediately once you do this, your libraries will no longer have these games appearing, even in your hours played as well, it's no longer going to be seen. But if you are able to search this, the hidden game, so if someone were to just guess the game that you're playing, for example, I'm going to search old school runescape over here, immediately there's this pop-up that you can see, a hidden icon over here, and immediately it shows multiple games have been hidden. So once you search for one game, your entire library of hidden games will all appear, which is something really, really bad. That's something that you do not want people to know, especially if you're hiding games, you want to be completely private. So once you search out one game, you can find the entire stash of hidden games. This is one of the downsides of hiding games, and there's more ways that you can actually find. So for those of you who want to know again how to search, let's say if you have a hidden game, you forgot what the game is, you can just search one of your hidden games and you can enter your entire catalog of hidden games. So for example, if I wanted to find um, Dota 2, which I have hidden, all I just need to click Dota and you can find it out here. You can continue installing your game and playing the game later on. But hiding a game doesn't mean you hide from your profile as well. If I go to my profile over here, you can see that my hidden game will still appear on the profile, especially if you have crafted badges because you're trying to deploy the other money-making strategies on our channel. It still appears, and this second step is very, very crucial to protect yourself as well. If people search you up, maybe they are trying to see what games you have been playing, they can find your hidden games on your profile. It's very unintuitive. Um, what I want you to do is go into Edit Profile over here. Once you click on your profile, go ahead and click on privacy settings and I want you to keep everything to private. The reason why you want to keep everything private is because your community profile still can display badges, which is very important. If you are planning to craft badges to increase your Steam level on our other money-making strategies that we talk about on channel, how we actually generate cash to buy our games for free, if you're interested in that, you can check it out after this video. If you have badges, your hidden game will still be shown. So that is not something that you want. So keeping everything private is important to block off search from other people going into your games. So that is the second thing that I need you to know. There's also a third step that I want you to do. If you go into your li library over here, for example, if you are sharing your PC, sharing it with other people as well, I don't even have this Trials into Reverie game on this account. In fact, it's on my other account. So if you're sharing with your PCs, maybe with friends, siblings, family members, and do you have it on your computer, they will actually appear under the games that's available section in your library, which is something that you might not want to happen, especially if it's purely just a family-based game is for your own consumption. So in order to prevent this from appearing on your other family members' feed, you can uninstall the game and then it will be removed automatically. So for example, if I right click here, I uninstall the game from this PC, you can install it, of course, from the other person's account, your own account, whatever it is, once you under uninstall the game, the game will disappear uh, completely as well. As you can see, it's still taking some time to uninstall because it's a large file. Once it has uninstalled, everything is gone. Now you have your accounts, your games very, very hidden. So those are the three steps, but you can bypass a lot of this right from the start. And this is like a bonus tip for those of you sticking around to the end. Um, you still need the other few steps, but you can easily do a lot of this administration. For example, if you are planning to purchase a new game for the first time, for example, Monster Hunter Wilds here, just a quick demonstration, you can come into here at the purchase page and switch to for my account private. This helps you shift it into the hidden tab already, but you still need the steps two and three that we talked about in order to completely hide it from your Steam profile. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you like this kind of content on Steam, you want to figure out how to make money on Steam as well. Check out our other two videos that I think you might like as well to get a hit in the Steam marketplace and understand Steam better. Thank you so much for watching. See you in one of these two videos. Bye-bye now.